It's his 10th year, hoping to break his unlucky curse. He's back again. It's the BGMT Master. I'm back once again. I'm the master of MG, M, BGMT. Back again, and I'm the master of MG. Oh, no, it's not that. But he'll do. He's back. Yeah! How many years have we known each other? I think it's got to be what? Ten, ten years. years. I can't believe it, how ten years have gone that way. Oh, it's depressing. <laughs> So, David, there's one thing I've never, ever asked you. Mm. Is there a significant other <laughs> in your life? Drum roll, please. <laughs> yes or no? No. Not at the moment. Mm. I'm a free agent, so who would be your ideal person to be with for those romantic, lovely evenings? I like... Uh, the Avengers, the Avenger girls like Diana Vig, Mrs. Peel, Tara King, and like Purdy out of New Avengers. <laughs> Not only that, I do like uh, Julie, the news re reader, News Which one? At 10. Now she's quite attractive. Julio? Julie Hitchman. Julie Hitchman. Hitchman. Julie Hitchman. Julie Hitchman. Julie Hitchman. Julie Hitchman. Hetchman. Hetchman. Etchingham. Hetchman. Hetchman. Ham. Hetchman. Etchingham. Hetchman. Can you hear me, David? Yeah, I can. Julie Etchingham. Julie Hetchman. No, that's Hetchman. Julie. <clears throat> Let's just do her surname. Etchingham. Hetchman. Etchingham. Hetchman. Hetchman. What would you do with Julie Etchingham? Oh. oh. <laughs> well, I think. I mean, I'm talking about on a date, um, because that was like you just won the lottery. So imagine I'm Julie Ettingham. Yeah. If you could take me out on a date, where would you take me? Mm. I would like to take you to Laser Quest. Paris. Rome. Swimming. Or golf. Well, I'll tell you what. From me, Julie Etchingham, Paris and Rome are out. <laughs> what are you going for? Swimming. Would you prefer me when I'm swimming with an all-in-one? Being a bloke myself, I would save a two-piece. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's the big dream at the end of the evening? If you're up to, up to, to it, then I'm sort of like guns blazing. <laughs> You know. <laughs> Imagine that's Julie etching him there. <laughs> Julie etching him loves a kiss, apparently. <laughs> Come on, David! <laughs> the return of a legend. I'd like to say a big thank you to my best friend, Steve Mahern. Best friend, Steve Mahern. Yes. <laughs> this is the year where you make it through to those live semi-finals. Oh Good luck. Thanks, Simon. We're rooting for you, David. David Watson, what's he got in store? He's coming here. He's coming this way. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm Anson very Deck. excited. Yeah? Can you cue the track? Yes. Cue, cue the, the track! track. Ladies and gentlemen, Hello, David! For over a decade, David J. Watson has wowed you, the British public. Here are some of David's best moments. David shocked the world with a spectacular impression of ex-politician David Blunkett. I wish to congratulate Northern Ireland on their peace talks. I don't want to tinkle in their politics. You nailed it, David. But the judges didn't like it. The Hulk. Remember the Hulk in the box? The Hulk in the box. The next year, David topped this by popping out of a box. Yeah. You nailed it, David. But the judges didn't like it. Wow. To top that, David put on the dress and a wig. And he ate some chili. <laughs> and another chili. Hot, hot, hot. Anton Deck 
get David some milk? Because David loves milk. Actually, I prefer double whiskey, if I'm honest. You nailed it, David, but the judges didn't like it. <laughs> I just want him to go through. That's all I want. To top that, we're finally here. Audition number 10. It's a wig on a wig, isn't it? Brace yourselves. I've spoken to King John Hun on the phone. This is a rocket man on the commission. It's Donald Trump. Trump. We don't want missiles. Pass the tree yes, tonight. I wish it. good luck on the Brexit. You know, my family were Scottish, and what for Americans that we all stand together. Amanda! That last impression was uncanny. I love people that never give up, and you are a testament to that. For me, it was like a celebration of rubbish. You are my favourite, Amanda. You are arguably one of the nicest contestants we've you had over bad. the years. Thank you. I, I think we need we need to vote. Let me start this off with a big fat yes. It is still a no. Whoa! I have to say yes. If you want him through, can you get your phones out and put your lights on? Up to you, Amanda. No! <laughs> David. It's an absolute liberty. There is always next year. on the live shows of ITV2. Ah, ah. Well done. What Stephen didn't quite explain is he doesn't actually have a golden buzzer. Oh. oh it's it's not my fault. It's not set the rules. Thank you, Simon. Thank no you so much. No Thank you, everybody. What would you say to anybody, David, that is thinking about doing what you've done? I would say... Have confident. Have confident. Do it with full confidence. There you go.